welcome back to my channel. Today I did a video using all MAC products to create this beautiful smoky eye. I really like it. It's very simple and classic. I used all MAC products. I used a nice, a really nice nude lip today as well to keep it very simple and classy. So yes. I have a recent smoky eye tutorial on my channel, but that one was older, so I wanted to do a new one for 2018. So yes, I really, really love how it came out. It's gorgeous, guys. I love it. So if you would like to see how I created my smoky eye look, just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And I'm going to use my fingers first to apply it on my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC 212 brush to apply the primer evenly all over my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with the MAC Setting Powder and Translucent. I'm going to use this to set the paint pot on my eyelid. Then I'm going to go in with this palette that I, that I created with MAC Eyeshadows. And I'm going to go in with Saddle. And I'm going to use Saddle as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Brown Script Eyeshadow and place it right underneath the saddle shade. Next, I'm going to take Carbon and place it all over my eyelid with a flat brush. And when you use black, you have to take your time and really be patient. Black is very hard to blend out. So I'm gonna show you how I blend my black into my crease. So I'm gonna take I'm Into It and I'm gonna start placing it right above the black. I went back and forth with um, carbon and I'm into it just to blend out the black and make it look smoky. So instead of just putting straight black in my crease, I mixed it with I am into it. As you can see, I'm building it up, going back and forth with the I'm into it shade and carbon just to get the smoky effect on my eye without it being too harsh with just using the this, this straight black on my eye. And as you can see here, I basically am smoking it all the way and yeah it's really simple you just want to take a little bit of eyeshadow at a time take your time and blend i'm taking that brown script right um above the i'm into it in carbon you just really want to take your time and just blend and use a little bit of product and build it up that's what i did now i'm going in with the radiant primer well this is actually a base this is um like a moisturizer before you put on your primer so i'm using this to prime well to moisturize my skin and now for primer of course i'm being so extra i'm using two mac primers the refined zone where I get the most oily which is my t-zone and then I'm just taking this primer stick because it's going to help with my oils and I am using that to add everywhere else for foundation I'm using the studio fix foundation and I wear NC55 just using a, a duo fiber brush to blend in the foundation all over my skin evenly and I love this foundation it's like skin and it keeps me matte like my skin looks flawless when I wear this foundation
Next for concealer, I'm going to go in with NC45. And I'm using the new MAC Concealer Brush. I'll have the name and number down below. But I absolutely love this brush. Now you do have to make sure it's clean um, when you use it because you can't reuse it again without cleaning it because it's not going to blend out your concealer evenly but I just love the airbrush effect that it gives me and then I'm going to go in with the translucent setting powder and I'm everywhere I place the concealer I am going to press in that powder into my skin and this powder is very very finely milled it's more finer than the Laura Mercier powder, which I abs I really like this powder now because it just it blends in like butter to my skin. So smooth. To set my face, I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix powder in NC47. And I'm going to contour. I'm going to use another Studio Fix powder. And this is an NW58. And I'm going to use this to contour my skin. And I absolutely love how deep and rich this color is for contouring. It's just, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. And I'm going to use the Finely Black in my waterline. And then just to add a little bit of more smoke underneath my lash line, I'm going to go in with Carbon and add it underneath. Now I'm not going to buff it out too much. I'm just going to concentrate it right on my lash line. I don't want to have it too smoked out or buffed out at the bottom like I usually do. Then I'm going to use some Fix Plus to spray my face down. And then I'm going in with the Holiday Collection Highlighter. And this is in the kit medium to um, deep. So I'm just taking that highlighter shade in the palette. I'll have the name of the highlighter down below. I, I'm so goofy. <laughs> um, I'll have the name for the highlighter down below. So y'all can definitely check that out in, in the description box. And for blush, I'm going to go in with the Raisin. And I don't know why I put my highlighter on before my blush, but yeah, I did that today. I guess I was excited for the highlighter. <laughs> And for lips, I'm going to go in with cork lip liner to line my lips. And I'm also going to bring it further on to my lips as well. Because I wanted an ombre lip color. And for lipstick, I'm going to go in with MAC Pe uh, Peach Stock, which is a beautiful nude color. I love it. This lipstick looks pretty on any skin tone. It's not your normal nude. It has more of a kind of like a peachy undertone to it, but it's, it's not that super nude, but it looks great with definitely cork or chestnut lip liner, depending on your skin tone. And for gloss, I'm going in with one of my new favorite glosses. It's called See Through, and it's by MAC, and I absolutely love See Through. It's just, it's just bomb. It's that perfect nude shade. And this color looks great on any skin tone as well. So, yes, 
this is the end of, this, of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what you would like to see next on my channel. Until next time. Bye, y'all.